Welcome to Figma Bytes, a video series that aims to teach you how to speed up your Figma workflow. Today, we're going to give you a quick introduction to components in Figma. Components are elements you can reuse across your design to create and manage consistency in your files and projects. We're going to create a fictional app that lets you rate how cute dogs are. We all know they deserve 11 out of 10 stars, but for this example, let's keep it to 5 stars. When should you create a component? When you start seeing repetition throughout your file, it's a good sign to step back and create some components. You can see we have this star pattern being repeated, this title, this representation of who posted the picture, even this entire composition of these pieces are repeated in these cards. These are all great candidates for creating components. All right, let's zoom in on our workspace and walk through how to build these out. The first thing we wanna make is our star component. Let's go select our star tool and create a star that is roughly 30 by 30 pixels. Okay, there's our star. Our first step is to create a component. There's a button in the center of the top bar that we can click to create a component. Woo, we've created our first component. You can tell because the icon changed and the border turned purple. Let's give it a unique name of empty, which will make our lives easier down the road. This is now our main component. Let's create some copies of it. Hold down Alt and click and drag on the main component, which will create an instance of that component. Notice that the icons are now different, but they still both have a purple outline. Let's make our filled star. We'll take our new instance, pick a nice yellow color. This is an override on our instance, and we can turn this into a new main component for our filled star. With this new star selected, go up to the top bar and click the Create Component button again. Let's rename this to Filled. We now have two components, with the filled one being built off of the original component. We'll talk more about why in a sec. Now let's build our ratings component. We have another frame down below to help keep things organized. Let's make a copy of the empty component with our alt, click, and drag shortcut again. Next, we'll add auto layout to this, which you can learn more about in episode nine. Let's use the shortcut command D to create five instances of this component. Now let's rename this to base. Now we wanna turn that into a component. We'll create a copy of that and create a component on top of the original so that we can represent our different ratings. Now back to the reason we built components on top of each other in the first place. We can select our first empty star and go over to our right side panel to select a different instance of this component. Now we have a representation of a one star rating that is built on top of the other pieces. Let's name this one and duplicate it. You'll notice that Figma auto increments numbers in your layer names. We'll select the second empty star and swap in the filled instance. We can do this for all of our star ratings. Then we can select all of these, which haven't been turned into components yet, and inside the Create Component button in the top bar, you'll see an option to create multiple components. Now that we have these, we can copy one of them over to our card and take advantage of instant swapping again. You'll see that we can select which rating we want in this menu. Now when we decide to edit our rating scale down the road, we can easily adjust our design in one single place and the changes will affect all of the components we built up. So we can play around with our designs and get a sense of how things look across any number of mockups or prototypes that we've built. That's how you create components in Figma. I hope this Figma Byte helps you craft comprehensive creations. Thanks for watching.